In this tutorial, we will take a look at one way to run some Windows applications in Linux using a piece of software called Wine. Now, Wine, some people call Wine a Windows emulator, but Wine is actually a recursive acronym, and it stands for Wine is not an emulator. Wine is actually an open source reverse engineering of the Windows API. It's basically a native way to run Windows applications in Linux. It actually has created 100% free non-Microsoft code that allows Windows applications to run in Linux. Now, it's not perfect. It does not run most software. Uh, it does not run most games, but it does do some things very well, and it is very easy to install and use. Now, there is some excellent documentation in the community section of the Ubuntu website at help.ubuntu.com slash community slash wine that explains how to use wine. But prior to using wine, one needs to install the actual wine software. And it's very easy to install using the add remove tool located in the applications menu on your Ubuntu system. Running this graphical tool will first uh, check for installed and available applications. It will also download an updated list of available software. And the Wine project provides a, a single piece of software that needs to be installed, and it's easily found here. One can simply type Wine, in fact, and do a search, and the very first thing that comes up is the Wine Windows emulator, and it explains a little bit about what Wine is down here. So the first thing to do before one can use Wine is to select Wine, just check this box, click Apply, and go through the installation process. Once Wine is installed, the next thing that one should do is take a look at this documentation on using Wine. Basically, the, the short explanation is one uses Wine in the command line. The idea is that a, a Windows application is downloaded, which, as most Windows users know, is usually a .exe file. This this .exe file can be placed anywhere on the system in the in the home folder. Perhaps create a folder called Windows Files or something like that. And the next thing to do would be to, as it is explains right here, is to open your terminal, which is located in Applications under Accessories and then Terminal and to type cd, which stands for change directory, and then the name of the directory. So let's just suppose that uh, there was a directory in this folder called Windows Files. So we would type cd Windows Files. Now, of course, that directory does not exist, but it would take us into the directory where the windows.exe file was located. And then all that needs to be done is one types in the word wine, space, and then the program name, whatever it is, .exe, and simply hitting return, and that the Wine application will then pick up at that point, and it will run the .exe file. Now, obviously, if the .exe file is a setup.exe, uh, then that's fine. Wine can run the setup.exe, and it will go through its installation, and it will attempt to install. Now, practically speaking, sometimes using Wine requires some some tweaks and some tricks and some tips and things like that. And that's where this documentation and a few other websites are very helpful. I would first start with this Ubuntu documentation on how to install Wine, how to configure Wine. Sometimes Wine needs CDs and DVDs. For, for example, sometimes a Windows application needs to access the CD, so there's a way to do that. There's an easy way to add the applications to the menu. Once it's installed and it's, and it's running using this convention right here, one does not need to do that every single time. One can create a shortcut with basically that command, wine space program name.exe, as the command that's run when the shortcut is, is pressed. So that's very easy to do, and all of that is explained right here. Two other websites that are very helpful is the Wine HQ, and winehq.org is the main website for the for the Wine software. It explains about it, it explains what it does, how it works. It's very, very interesting on how it works. Again, it uses 100% non-Microsoft code. It's an open source, reverse engineered process that attempts to, to make 
Windows applications run natively. But the nice thing about the Wine HQ website is it has a database. The AppDB, appdb.winehq.org, is a database that lists whether or not applications will work with Wine. And it's very easy to use. One can simply, on the left-hand side, there's a navigation here. We can go to Browse Apps, and there are different categories, educational software, games, multimedia, network, productivity, and the like. Some of these, for example, productivity, will have subcategories, clicking on that will be taken to database, desktop publishing, finance, accounting, legal, law, office suites, and the like. And, and then the and then the productivity subcategories are below that. And one can see all the applications that are listed. And if one picks uh, an application, there will be notes or comments or perhaps some tips from other users on how to get that particular application uh, working well. So the Wine Application Database is one excellent location for assistance on how to get certain applications to run. Another good website is a a user. uh, His name is Frank, and he's got a website called frankscorner.org. And frankscorner.org is his notes, basically, sort of the down and dirty how to do it, quick start guide, and he has a list of working applications here also broken down by subcategories. For example, one can go into Office, into the Office category, and see... He's got Office 97 and Office 2000, so if for some reason someone needs Microsoft Office 2000 instead of using OpenOffice.org, there's there's explanations here on on how to use it, and it tells you exactly what needs to be done on how to get things uh, to work. And generally speaking, uh, the applications that work work very well in Wine. It's just that many applications do not. You can also see that he also has a list of some games. Some games do run with Wine. There are commercial alternatives, uh, which will be the subject of another tutorial, but Wine does run some games. It does not run very high-end 3D accelerated games for the most part. Some, it it might, but the latest games are probably not going to work with Wine. Wine is very good at some applications and some games, but both the Wine application database and the Frank's Corner website are both two good resources for tips and tutorials on how to get those applications to run. So, I encourage everyone to check out the Wine project. It's an excellent project and it does work very well. Uh, And with that, that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.